Greetings, unsettled souls! Go! Ah, a lot of you guys like the uh, story I gave you yesterday uh, regarding Megadeth and the way that Dave, Mel Dave Mustaine hosed over Dave Ellison. Sometimes it is good to get away from all the politics. This is really sad, though. I'm not happy to bring anybody this news. There he is. Of course, you guys heard about this. Charlie Watts, unfortunately, has passed on. Let me just tell you something. His publicist didn't say what he died of! Oh my God, does that piss me off. I went with... Slap you right in the head. Why do they do that? It was even worse. He wasn't going to be able to do the tour coming up. Okay? He wasn't going to be able to do the... Why? He had some mystery procedure, but we're not allowed to know what it is. No. He just had a procedure, and now he's not going to be able to... Do Tell people what the hell happened. I hate when publicists and uh, family members do that. Tell us what the hell he died of. Don't make us wait and find out and get... I hate that to the end of you wouldn't believe. He passed away peacefully in London, but none of us are allowed to have any idea what the hell caused it, because obviously it's some great mystery. It's a pet peeve of mine. I don't know if anybody else shares that or not. I do think it's interesting that it says here that the Stones, according to Livewire, the Stones were just another gig, he said to the Guardian, but when we started touring around England, I was waiting to start another job, but I never went back to it. Um, he said he was a bit out of sync with the uh, rest of the band, uh, Brian Jones, Mick, and Keith. But Keith taught him, he said, to listen to Buddy Holly and things like that. Mick taught me about playing with songs, really, and melodies and that. Well, let's be honest here. They say the same thing about Ringo Starr, and there is a jazz element that is in both drummers, which are uh, respectable, and they are like human metronomes. You could probably set up a click track to them and be amazed at the fact that if they were just playing in a room, they, they would be almost perfectly on with that click track, and that can't be overstated. That's beautiful. But the idea that Charlie Watts was an amazing drummer just isn't the case. I mean, we're talking about an amazing drummer dying. Joey Jordanson was a billion times better than Charlie Watts was when Charlie Watts was at his absolute peak. Charlie Watts wouldn't be able to play 5% of what Joey Jordanson could play, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't extremely important, and that doesn't mean that what he brought to the music wasn't important, because what he brought to the music was a consistency, I think, which can't be overstated. Uh, this this struck me as sad. One of the nicest people I've, I've ever had a chance to meet was uh, Violent J. He was very, very friendly when I met him. Um, he was talking to people in a, in a, in a uh, wrestling mask. He, he was an extremely friendly person. Took the time to talk to everyone, even though I think a lot of the people there were not just talking to him, but like literally swarming him at the Agora, and he met people behind the fence and everything. This sucks. Detroit Free Press, Insane Clown Posse's Violent J reveals a heart condition, and they announced their farewell tour. Now, again, so many people hate them because they have no sense of humor. Yes, they're vulgar, but they're also Christians, which is a good thing, because even though... You know, their fictional stories and all that. People are getting chopped up and, you know, you name it, it happens in their music. The overreaching message is one of humor and unity, and they're like the most charitable people in the world. They probably give away more of the money than they make than just about any celebrity you could possibly name. Great people. Um, wrongly accused of, you know, being uh, gang leaders and all this ridiculousness. They're basically two comedians that rap. And the reason that their music is good, I'll let you in on the secret here, the reason that their music is so infectious and doesn't have as much to do with them as it does Mikey Clark. Mikey Clark worked with Alea. Now, I'm not a real big R&B and hip-hop fan, but it was produced excellently. And if you listen to songs like A Toy Box and things, there's 55 million things going on in that song. That's an extremely hard song to, uh, to, to put together, not from a musical standpoint, but from a production standpoint. And the instrumentation on it, the layering, the arrangement is very hard to do on some of their music. And that's, that's, to, that's Mikey Clark. That's not them. 
But uh, I, I like the fact that their honesty is intact here. They're not saying, oh, come see us because we're, we're not doing this anymore. No, they're not touring anymore. They're still going to do a show a month. Check this out. The law, they're not trying to milk your money out of you or anything like that. The long-running Detroit rap duo The Insane Clown Posse had a pair of bombshell announcements for fans this weekend. The groups of Violet and Jay addressing the crowd Saturday afternoon at the 21st gathering of the Juggalos in Ohio. I did not know about that or I would have went. I miss so much. I'm, I'm in my own depression. Revealed he was recently diagnosed with arterial fibrillation, a condition involving abnormal heart rhythm. Violet and Jay, the charismatic 49-year-old born Joseph Bruce, told fans his heart issue means basically we can't do things the way that we used to do them. And he was talking about, you know, just walking to the mailbox was a big issue. He talked, he went into some great detail and said, you know, walking up the steps. We're going to the studio, which was 40 steps away, was creating him getting winded and he couldn't figure out why. With longtime music partner Shaggy Too Dope and his brother Robert Bruce alongside him on stage, Violent J said ICP will be scaling back its concerts uh, activity from here on out. That will include a farewell tour next year with dates in Euro U.S., Europe, Canada, and Australia, albeit at a lighter pace than normal for the longtime Road Warriors. Calling it a slow tour, Violent J said ICP will play three or four shows a week. He said his doctors are not too amped at me during shows, period, but it's not a wise move to get out and play six nights a week with a heart condition. Saturday's announcement came on the final afternoon of the three-day gathering of the Juggalos. But uh, it said uh, it will not be the end of their performing career. The group would continue to play once a month. Moreover, the 2022 farewell tour may not be the only one, Violent J joked. I always thought it would be cool to do a farewell tour like Kiss does, he said, and then do another one two years later. So they're making fun of, you know, what I was saying, the people getting every last penny out. It's awful to see. Very, very awful to see. And last but not least in the, uh, the, the media update here, UB40 founding member, member Brian Travers dies at 62. Good reggae. Very good reggae. Red, red wine. Wine. Red, red wine. That's how you sing it if you've had too much red, red wine. Um... Can't it Help Falling in Love With You was a better version of that than the one Elvis made, I thought. Um, Brian Travers, a saxophonist, arranger, and lyricist for the group UB40, and one of its founding members died Sunday at the age of 62 with cancer. See, why well, can't the people just say that? You need to talk to uh, the Rolling Stones drummer there. Uh, the cause of death was cancer. Travers was reported to have undergone three surgeries for brain tumors since they were discovered in 2019. Can you think of a worse horror? Brain cancer to begin with. Surgery. Three surgeries. Said the band in a statement posted on social media, it's with great sadness that we announced the pa passing of our comrade, Brother and founding UB40 member and musical legend Brian David Travers. His family was by his side, which is more than probably where a lot of us are going to get when we go. Awful. They've sold worldwide 100 million albums. I wouldn't have guessed that. But that's your media update. Uh, that's your media update. That is your media update. How about the entertainment update? Yeah. Thank you, friends, for listening to The Correct Views. Good night. God bless. Please hit share and hit subscribe. That helps me immensely.